on a roof high above Kendall, Batman takes over the town hall. This art isn't just in galleries, the whole town gets involved. is a particular kind and they will travel to the ends of the earth and beyond into other universes to, to get to an event to see somebody they really admire so that's part of the appeal it's a truly international festival we know people are traveling especially even just for one event from like Italy or Sweden or whatever um, but also it's appealing to local people. This b and has been booked up for this weekend for months it's a similar story everywhere for Heidi it's a huge relief in October for her husband it's even more exciting been into comics since I was what, five, six, and um, just when we moved to Kendall, I didn't think there'd be any opportunity because um, all the comic book bookshops are in sort of major cities. Uh, <laughs> you won't see me this weekend. No, so. comic book we don't. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> I'm hoping to get to most of them. But yes, I do share my bedroom with a Spider-Man life-size bust. I am that privileged. You're a very patient lady. <laughs> It draws some of the biggest names in comic art, and now Kendall has become the biggest name of all. But this is the one that everyone's like, you have to go to Kendall now, and this is the place to be. So you, like here, is you have shop windows that are doing amazing displays of Jonathan Edwards and Willie Bevins works, and these little monsters you see everywhere. And you get, um, there's a brew, there's actually brewed like a, a, a festival beer. What's, what's it called? Anybody remember the name of the festival beer? Fighter fluid. Fighter fluid, yeah. <laughs> it's based on a mist thing. And it's just like, all this, and it just feels like every, everyone in Kendall is like really supporting this. That's exciting. This festival's success is that it's found a niche, pulling enthusiasts from all over, filling Kendall as the tourist season dies down. But it's not just shop fronts being turned into art galleries. This pub is also being turned into a big bat cave. You can see behind me there's lots of students from Kendall College who've been very busy doing it. And Phil Walker is one of the managers here. So Phil, you've de dedicated quite a lot of your pub to it. You must be fairly confident you're going to get some business back. Yes, we have. Uh, last year we had the Fanar Bar here from the both the Viz here and a lot of the Viz workout, uh, which was excellent to the, uh, to the pub. This year we've got, of course, got the Bat Cave, which is going to be brilliant for us and hope to see a similar trend into that. And it's great that small businesses can be involved as well as uh, other events happening in the town at like the places like the Town Hall. Absolutely. Well, the District Council has donated £10,000 to this. Peter Thornton's the leader. Are you going to get a return back for council taxpayers' money there? Absolutely we are. For every pound that we put in, we get about £100 back. There are people flying to this event from California and the west coast of the US. We're going to get about a million pounds into the local economy. That's our strategy in South Lakeland, to regenerate town centres with events and festivals. And you know, Fiona, it's working. We've just got figures that the empty shops in Kendall is down 25% from last year, and it's the lowest figure for six years. And you know, also, the event is in the most enormous fun as well. So bringing people in in the winter months, and this festival's on all weekends, and it's free. Enjoy the comic festival. Ross, are we going to need our anoraks this weekend? Or